I feel like I'm in like a realm of black hole. Of you. Yes, Lord. And there's no one to save me. <laughs> Stella! I require a son. Yeah, I, your son I uh, am familiar with your experience here. Stella. I'm, you know? Murphy! Murphy, my Murphy. What's your streak? Oh, that's not bad. How do I have four win streak? I think we probably got three last time. Excuse me? It might be, it might be me. I've been playing Isaac too. It might be you. Give me some credit, man. I'm not a bad Isaac player. I don't know what my rank is. On Greedbutt? Yeah. I didn't do so good on the daily today. Well, I was like 400th, but... It was, uh... Yeah, no, not I'm, paying I'm attention. I'm happy if I'm within hundreds. Usually, I'm, I might be a thousand. I've been there. Show him up. <laughs> Let's do it, girl. I'm Sweet. ready. Alright. Are you ready to be? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's probably okay. Oh god, I thought <laughs> I was the lost. Yo, Yosef. Oh god, you scare me. Don't uh don't throw Ooh. shade at me, top six percent man. Corey let me in on a little secret that I didn't know about. Apparently if the daily sucks and you're not doing so hot, not you specifically, but you may have engaged in this tactic, people just alt F4. It, it, it looks, it looks been doing quack, that. Quack, quack. Yourself's been doing that. Everybody's been doing that. Agent Aaron, thanks for the subscription there. I had no idea that apparently what you should do if you want to get like top two percent, top one percent, is just if your daily ever sucks, just alt. Oh my god, that thing shot me oh, so I hard. I thought I got hit. Oh my god. Just alt F four. Yeah, man. Uh oh, this daily sucks. I wouldn't want to put. You know what that? You know, you know the name of uh, those guys. What? Tryhards. Oh, snap. <laughs> they are tryhards! At first I was... Play the game! At first I felt bad about my performances. I was like, man, these guys are so much better than me with their ranks. And then I realized, well, they're self-selecting the bad dailies out of there. It, I mean, you, you probably still would have a better rank than me to begin with, but at the same time, it's not really a one-to-one -one comparison. Again. Agent. 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 Agent Aaron. Agent yeah. Aaron. Thank you for joining Kerami Elite. Kerami roll out. I think Isaac sometimes gives you that moment where like you really hate this game. And uh, That's a good start if you're talking about hating the game. And uh you know, sometimes you think, why am I playing this game? I hate this game, I cannot play it. And then after a while, give like, you know, a month. It comes back to you. It's just like, you know what? Thank you for being with me. <laughs> I, I hate it on you, but I appreciate that you've been sticking around. I, I feel you, and I, I should appreciate you more. What's it, uh, what's it like to be able to go one month without playing Isaac? What? I, I've been always playing Isaac. No, but you, you said, you know, you go away for like a month. No, I'm like for a month. You hate the game. Oh, I see. And then, after a month or so, by like, you know, for a whole month of hating it, and just like, why is everyone playing this game? This game sucks. And then, after that month, you're like, you know what? I appreciate this game. Thank <laughs> you for being here. It's well made. Thank you for sticking around. You know, I, I appreciate, I appreciate. It's a good game. It's ooh, it's a nice engine for fun. That was a really good pill. Come on, come on, yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you, uh, Jacob. Oh yeah, you Jacob got a, a call out right O H twenty three. I'm in I'm in the type place. I've right I've now. noticed, yeah. Um, Jacob O H twenty three. Thank you very much for the subscription. But also, um, we're doing well. We're doing the stream because we always do the stream. But there's also a subscriber goal at 300. Kate's gonna drag me to a maid cafe and possibly film it. Uh, maid cafe is where you're waited on hand and foot, which uh, is not. They, they call you master. Yeah, it really freaks me out. But I will do it, and she can film it, and I'll try. I'll I'll persevere if you get to if you get to 300. Yeah, it's uh, but it's real. We are tight in time. What does this even mean? Twitch.tv slash lovely momo people are currently subscribed. 
is no, what... No, it's <laughs> like, it's supposed to be, like, equation. It's like this many people are subscribed oh, okay. currently. So, um, but it has to be before we get, before we leave to Japan. Right. So, basically, that goal will last, um, starting today to Saturday. And if we don't get to the goal by Saturday, then... Then no dice. Then ne too late. Well, I have to wait for next time. That worked out. No spirit art, but it worked out. Ooh. I don't know. It's right there, so... Why are Kate's uh, sub-goals different ways of making Ryan uncomfortable? I'll, hey, allow, I'll uh, allow you to answer this question. It's, uh, you know, part of cultural thing. It's not like I'm dragging him to a jail and just, uh, you know, get tortured. Mm. It's people go there for enjoyment. It's not like a sex shop or something like that. It's nothing weird. People have kind of weird mind about it. But I think at the end we'll have a good laugh and I agree with that. Think back and then kind of like remember that time when we went to Japan and uh, we went to Maid Cafe and thought it would be really weird, but kind of wasn't that bad. And we'll think back and I think we'll be like, yeah, it's like literally the only you can do, you can do that in Japan. Mm. And I think uh, it will be just part of a good memory. I think it could be good memories as well. So, but I think um, it would also really go well to have like a sub goal along with it. Because it kind of pushed that limit. It's like people want to see it. Oh god. People want to see it. They, people want to see it, so, you know, might as well make that a memory, as a shareable memory, and have fun on both parties. And, uh... And I think it's a good idea. People are saying, well, someone said, get the omu rice, they'll write whatever you want them to write on it in ketchup. Yeah, man. I've already decided I'm not getting the omu rice. You're not gonna get the omu rice? No. Are you gonna get the drinks, though? Cause you have to. Oh, what? What are you doing there? <laughs> I blew up the pot. You walked on the bomb rock. I did. Yeah. What? What happened? <laughs> I don't understand. I didn't. That didn't. That didn't. That didn't register in my brain. I'm just saying. I, in my in my mind, there was no bomb in that. That she was she went super hard on that stompy. I was, I was very concerned. I, in my head, I was like, she's not gonna try to walk on anything close to a bomb rock. I didn't I see it. I was mistaken. Um, and then, I'm not dead. Um, I'm I'm getting the freaking curry is what I'm getting. Curry. Mm -hmm. Do they sell curry there? Girl, you made me watch the video last night. They sell curry there. What? She's like, here's the set menu. Oh yeah, there's they a have curry. Of curry. And I was like, yeah, get the curry. But then the rice is like a, it's a teddy bear. That's fine by me. Yeah, I can eat that. It looks like a teddy bear. As long as she's not like, oh, your biceps are so big, master. No, they're not gonna be like that. Why not? Cause that's a little sexual. What? <laughs> you don't comment on like. It's is it sexual physics? to ad admire a, a man's physicality? No, but you shouldn't really, like, talk about the physicality like that. That's just kind of, like, sexual and rude. At least I think, especially in Japan. Maybe not in North America. Maybe not in North America. How much do I have to pay to get them to say that my biceps You know, you could, you could actually pay them to have them say what you want to hear. But you cannot, you cannot be like right, yeah. sexual, but like a bicep will be just like, it's all right. But you cannot have like, oh, your penis is awesome or something like that. Like, oh, what? You could also pay maids to get, uh, so that they will slap you. Yeah, like I saw, your face. I saw that. Or you were watching that while I fell asleep last night or something. I don't know. It was really funny, cause like the, he's like begging her to slap. She's like, "You need to treat women nicely," and then he's like, "Slap me," and then she's like, sl slapped him. 
<laughs> and just like, pacha! And then he's like, oh. It's not sexual, though. No. He just got slapped on his face. I cannot kill this thing, Ryan. You know, it. Every culture has peculiarities, is is what I will say. Um, I don't understand the legitimate appeal of a maid cafe. It's like entertainment cafe. But I will, you know, you know, the only entertainment cafe I want to go to is Medieval Times. Medieval Times is the bomb. That's like so nerdy. Have you ever know. been to Medieval Times? What, are, what is that? Medieval Times is a middle age themed. Oh yeah. Quack, 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 quack. Alex Timo, more like Alex Tomo, has just subscribed. Yay, get him roll out. You know, at Medieval Times, you, uh, it's, it's a, like, Middle Ages themed restaurant and banquet. Okay. So you get, like, you get, like, a turkey leg and some potatoes. Um, but then it takes place in, like, an arena, and in the middle there's a big sand, like, staging area. Yeah. And then people joust. And like sword fight and stuff like that, and everybody, everybody in their section has like a knight that they cheer for, and then it'll be like the red knight against the black knight, and then they're like red knight fans stand up, and then you stand up and go yeah red knight. How is that so different from Maid Cafe? Because this freaking warriors fighting for <laughs> the glory of the empire. But there is no empire, Ryan. Well, there's still the empire now. Not, not in the restaurant. Would you volunteer for one of the audience participation events? That's a, um, I think that's a miss, uh, it's, it's inaccurate. It's perpetuated by the cable guy. I've been to a Medieval Times. It was dope. Would you fight? You can't fight. It's, that's not covered under their insurance. You say that you, you fight. No, the knights fight. You're not a knight. What if the knights, like, the knights are you, actors. You can't be the knight. They can't, you, you can't do that. I don't think you can do that. Really? Yeah. How about like, um, let's say we went to the cafe. Yeah, well, it's, not, it's, it's more of a banquet uh, right, facility, banquet. yeah. And then um, they're like, we need a kiss from the the winning goddess. And then they just randomly pick me. And yeah. I had to give them like a little smooch in their cheek. Would you be okay with Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Oh, God. I mean, if you got to be okay with it. That's the real thing. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you ruin the show for everybody else. I'm gonna be not okay. Alright, if you're okay with it, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make you ruin the show for everybody else. I should say. When would this thing die? Okay. Take the pill. Take the pill. Can I take this? No. Um The only medieval times I know is in Buena Park, California. There's one in uh, Toronto. Ooh. Keep getting, keep getting stuff. Em oh, Empty Vessel gives you black hearts. My mistake, Kate. You could have taken it. That's my bad. I didn't know that Empty Vessel gives you black I cards, actually. I could have had it all. <laughs> rolling in the deep. You know what? I've learned something now, then. Empty Vessel is not, uh, is not just, uh, take it oh. and lose it. Oh my god. Let's not die. I just took one hit and my whole red heart disappeared. That's correct. Who programmed this game? <laughs> That's a good question, actually. Uh, I don't know the answer to that question. Spider did some of it. I feel like that one month of a hating period is coming back. Well, you are doing uh, Lilith runs, so I can understand that. It's coming back. It's coming back. I thought I thought the hating period disappeared, and that now it's, it's gonna be a, a happy marriage. But no, it's it's coming back. Ooh, There's a library. library. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the medieval times in Atlanta has no audience participation. I understand uh, the romance of going to a, a place like Medieval Times and being able to sword fight your neighbor. The place would get shut down. Sword fight your neighbor? <laughs> the place would get shut down in like a week. 
People will be fist fighting in that pit in the center. No insurance company's gonna cover them. It's probably already like super expensive uh, to insure, you know. There's a reason that quarter chicken dinner costs you like $22. I can't do anything. Just let the sweet embrace of, uh, sweet embrace of death take you away. I'm not gonna give up. It's gonna have magic mushroom. Down, 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 down. Please. <laughs> I like how you just like scratching your head. I got nothing. Uh, I got nothing to do. <laughs> Doctor J Wilson, thank you very much for the subscription. Thank you very much. Can I be rolled out? See. That was the up. blessing of Doctor J Wilson there. Don't give up, Papa Bliss. Oh my god. So many bonies! There should be mega bonies as a fight. Like a boss fight. And just throws like gazillion bones. And you just die. Nine cents. Alright, I think I should just take this and take that. I think that's a very good suggestion. <sighs> Is that a beer? I think I have a sweet ass, like, long Gene Simmons tongue. Is that a tongue or a beer? I think it's a tongue. I kind of see it as a tongue. I have not been to Maid Cafe either. I don't know if anyone asked. Never been to one. But, you know, before I die, I should. I, I feel like I think uh, I should try one. Yeah? Yeah. You know, of course, before I die, I, I should try. Yeah, try everything. Well, not everything. I don't want to try drugs. But, I don't know if you made a face there or not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because, did you make a face that's I, I just went... like... Does that mean uh, you want to try drug before you no, die? No, not at all. It means that uh, you know the, the maid cafe and cocaine are like roughly on the same level of, of things that were it not for your influence or somebody's influence, I what would is not this try. About? I'm saying, were it not for you, I wouldn't do the not, well, I wouldn't do the maid cafe at all. Uh, a friend of yours would be would not talk you into. Like, doing a drug, and then you'll be interested in Have you seen one. my friends? You think Michael A.L. Fox is going to talk me into doing well, cocaine? Well, you know, I'm just saying, you said it's like the same same level as going to Maid Cafe and then doing a cocaine. That's no, I'm not. I'm just crazy. saying that those those both exist in the category of things I would not do if it was only my decision. But because it is half your decision, we'll go to the Maid Cafe. And I'm, gonna, I'm not even, like, bitter about it. We'll make the best of it. I don't think I took item from the item room. Right? Well, hold the tab? You took it for sure. Alright, I took it. Oh yeah, Foxman definitely does coke. I don't- that he, is, he doesn't even do Coca-Cola. <laughs> he does Diet Coke, actually Coke Zero. His- what are you talking about? His, uh... What is it? The uh... I was high school photo. Was it high school or yep, middle school? That was high school. Oh my god, he looked like a kid in high school then. Well, you are a kid in high <laughs> school for most of it. No, like a like a middle school kid. Um, but he was holding a Coca Cola bottle and he was loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Dude's dude's number one activity is cleaning his fish tank. So uh, <laughs> he 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 doesn't need <laughs> anything to to spice up his life. Why do you think uh, fish kipping is the uh, lamest thing of all time? I'm not saying it's lame at all. I would much rather uh, Clean the fish tank? Get, an, get an aquarium than take cocaine. Hopefully you would never do drugs. I hope I'll never do either, honestly. I have no interest in it. In, in any of the situation. I don't even know where this came from. This lady's well, talking. She said uh, <laughs> cocaine and the maid cafe is the same level. I just, I, I, I gave him a false equivalency and yeah, just said. Yeah, uh, it's a false. You oh gotta my admit god. It's a false. I, admit that's false and it's all go away. This is what happens sometimes when I'm folding the laundry. I'll watch like uh, Drugs Inc. 
on the History Channel. I cannot watch and it. And Kate can't watch. She tells me to turn the channel, even if she's not in the same room. She's like, she can't handle the... I, I can't. It's just... Like, I cannot even see myself getting, you know... Oh my god. Oh god. When uh, I'm getting blood tested, I cannot see myself, like, the nurse poking the needle on my arm. It's just like... It's the weirdest That's thing That's real life, all baby. Time. When I was at McDonald's tonight... What the fuck? Uh, this dude... Uh, so I was waiting for our order. Yeah. And then this dude came in with, like, a, an empty fry container and just walked up to the counter and was like, I want a refill on my fries. I waited 10 minutes for a large fries. I paid for a large fries, and then the thing was only half full when it came in. And then the people were like, uh, 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 and they're okay, sir. And then they took his fry box... And then did him, did him... Well, I don't know, because like, he waited there back. for, like, five minutes, and then our food came out, and I just left. Well, you didn't... Why did you tell me the story? Because he was so demanding. He had, like... He had a bunch of neck tattoos, and he was yelling real loud. And he was making the staff very uncomfortable. There was also... You know, they played the Canucks games in there. Okay. They, Canucks scored, and the guy was like, I don't want to shout because it's getting a little late over here. He shouted so loud. Ah. He was like, woo! And everyone in the store was like, what's going on? And then he's like, Canucks! Go Canucks! And you're like, hey man. it's all. First off, we'd be better off losing. Secondly, uh, you know, it, you gotta know your know your venue, man. You're not in the stadium. Know your limits, stay within it. Exactly. You're lucky that the mushroom turned out to be there. By the way, I'm not saying that uh, a neck ta tattoo is implicitly an indication that someone's maladjusted for society. That silk cord just like flew over that gap? It did. Um, what I will say is that in context, when a man comes into McDonald's and he's being really belligerent and he has a neck tattoo, I start to get a little questionable. I start to question the situation that have led to that. Don't worry, Chad. I will not allow Ryan to do or take any narcotics. It's like an anti-risk. There's there's no risk whatsoever. Oh, I can actually shoot. Oh, oh, that is yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I didn't think it would do that, but that's good. Oh, 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 oh. kill it! I don't want to shoot because uh, we're we're both running around here. Too late. <laughs> Lol. I don't know if you saw, you walked wide into that. <laughs> Not my best damage. It's like Denny's past 10 p.m. Yeah, that McDonald's is a, it's a touch sketchy. Did you see that? My head just blocked that shot. My dandy hat. I don't even need this box anymore. Fuck this box. R.I.P. Canucks. Shark's too strong. Dude, I can't be honest. Or I, I have to be honest, I should say. I want the Sharks to win tonight. The more we lose, oh. the better our chances of having a good year oh. in a couple of years are. That's pretty good. I'm a Plague Doctor, baby. What? My wife uh, trying to run into my crosshair. What are the things that you want to do that you wouldn't do, like, typically in Japan? What, that I want to do that I wouldn't do? Typically. It's just like, you know, like, I wouldn't do this, but in, because of this occasion, I would do it. I don't understand. Let's say, like, you wouldn't uh, go to onsen because you don't feel... Like, you wouldn't go to, like, a public hot bath. Yeah. Because it's, like, it's a little weird. But because in, we're in Japan, I wouldn't mind going there. Yeah. Kind of thing. Well, what this really is, is a list of things that you're interested in doing. And then I, I see if it's a, a deal breaker for me. Which it rarely is. It's just, you know. No, I'm just saying, like, what would you want to do? Uh, drink coffee out of a vending machine. Eat eat a bunch of takoyaki. But this is, this is stuff but that... that you would do, though. What? What am I trying to say? Stuff that I don't want to do, but I will do because we're in Japan. Yes. I can't conjure up an example. I just gave you. You an gave example. me the onsen example. If I was in Japan by myself, I'd probably go to an onsen. It's just it's something you do when you're there. Like, you know what I would definitely not do by myself? Go to an amusement park. <laughs> there's there's your typical answer that you would uh, 
There you go. There that's you your answer. Yep. I were it not for you when we were in Japan, I'd be going to zero amusement parks. There is no doubt about that. We're going into two again this year. Yeah, one of them is the onsen one though, right? Nah, man. If you count that, that's three. We're going to three amusement parks? That's like an amusement park every four days. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> to be fair, one is just like onsen. It's just like you chillax and eat good food. That's all you need to do. Um, you know, uh, the... What is it? Universal Studio? Yeah. They are opening the Jurassic Park new uh, yeah, roller attraction coaster. that we are there it would be a sin not to go while we are there because it's like literally getting the upgrade what you all right <laughs> you put the crossfire on yeah me. I'm, blow I'm blowing up the skulls you're just hanging out there yeah i don't know why you would do that that's just not nice and then um tokyo dome mm. tokyo dome has a really good attraction what does attraction mean? If it's an amusement park, why don't you it's just say it's an amusement park? Okay, there you go. Don't try to trick me. Say it's, an, it's, a, it's really, an attraction. Well, there is a difference between amusement park and attraction, Ryan. For example, uh, attraction, you know, there are like rides and stuff, but not necessarily themed. Like Disneyland, they, they, have, they have a theme. Oh, well, it's Clear a theme, theme park. I don't know what you did there. I got lost in the crosshairs. And then... Um, Wait, it's attraction. It's it's, uh, it's really good. Tokyo Dome. They have they have like a really nice shopping area, and then uh, they have really nice um, rides. Some of the roller coasters that are quite scary. Oh, that goes through like a building, which is really fun. Where do you think? Just like down? Right. I, I thought it was where we were on the right. Yeah. No, I mean like. We oh, on the right. <laughs> you should have you should have said it before. I uh, I just let uh, I let my wife call the shots. If she asks for my help. I give it to her, and then I give her my help. Up. Yeah. All right. I mean, it, it, it's totally possible this is the wrong way, but this is where I would suggest it's probably the most likely. It is Jack Go Five Zero Five. Jack Go Zero Five. Thank you for joining. Can I be elite? Can I be roll out? Thank you very much for your subscription. Thank you. We're getting one step closer to the edge. Go to the made cafe while we're in Japan. And filming it. And filming it. And Rock Band as well. Right, also true, yeah. That was 300? Yeah. Easy. Remember how uh, I set that goal even before the Rock Band was released? Yes. And I was worried that it's like, oh no, what if we get to the goal and then Rock Band's still not out? <laughs> how innocent. Well, was luckily I? we don't have to deal with that problem. I remember it was like during summer. The goal is the 300 sub goal has been sticking around for almost a year, man. You know what? Uh, a goal is a goal. You accomplished it. You gotta fucking go fast. There was a uh, 30 seconds left. I guess I don't have to do it. I Just mean, the out. body, Ooh. room bag. Well, you should get something for free. You got the Joker card. What do you mean? T pick something up and then use the Joker card to get out of the teleport. What, what do you think I should pick? Probably the body, but uh, rune bag's alright too. It's up to you. And then we can fight this guy if you want to fight Mega Satan. Alright, let's do it. Nice, I like that. You you were ready. Oh, you know, yeah. I can appreciate someone who's ready. <laughs> God bless. Lion! Ooh, that was pretty good. Papa bless. Let's do it. Stop asking if we're gonna play this game! My god, we have enough games, please. Save no, us. No more games. Save us. I can't. I will say, is Ultimate Chicken Horse... Uh, if it's coming out, did they say if it's gonna have online? Because if it has online, I will totally play it on the NLSS. It's a great I NLSS doubt game. That. I also doubt it. In my experience... And I understand why they do this. 
But when developers knows us. <laughs> when when developers say we haven't decided if it's gonna have online multiplayer yet, that means we're just waiting yeah. to say no until later. It's the same way, like, you know, if, if somebody, like, invites you out someplace in, like, three weeks, they're like, you know, hey, in May, you should totally come by. Yeah. You don't say no right away. You wait till they're like, okay, are you really going to come out? Then you go, oh, I don't know. I'm kind of wishy-washy about it. It's like your friend saying, like, we should totally hang out. Yeah, and exactly. Never happens. Apparently, it does have online. Oh! That, you know what? That's what I get for yeah, being a... Uh, that's what I get for being uh, dismissive. Some, sometimes you get uh, one or two things wrong. Yeah, that's very true. That doesn't mean you'll be always wrong. It's just... Uh, the, the important thing, as always, is to learn. What? I think this does nothing, but we should take it anyway, because it's, it's I've weird. never seen... <laughs> How is that possible, Ryan? How is what possible? Brimstone! We fought the Fallen. Oh... Oh! oh! <laughs> what are you, girl? Relax. You're just torching me. Yo. Why? We have the key piece. All right. What happened? Oh my god. What? What's happening? Oh god. If I was 100%, if I had my 100% health with me today, because I'm not feeling so healthy today, um, I would have screamed. Like, oh my god! It's amazing! Because it's amazing. It's pretty good. Have you ever had this? Um, it's possible. I mean, at this point, I don't remember anything. I don't even remember that, uh... It looks like that empty a vessel gives you spirit explode. arts. You know what I feel... You know what this looks like? It mm. looks like... That's what I'm going through right now. This looks like what you're going through right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when I'm done with the toilet. You know what? You should... Um, oh, shit. You should be true to your own experiences. It's not a pretty picture, though. It is not. That's what I'm, I'm basically getting it. What I'm going through right now is not pretty. But it's awesome because human life, you know? Human. Right, yeah. So it's, it's like that. It's not pretty. But it's it's a beautiful thing. It's oh pretty my good. God. You know, Nethus is gonna be so mad at me For what? when he sees this, because he has to do Lilith, uh, oh, Mega, Satan. Mega Satan one, and then he's like, "I hate this. Uh, Lilith's Mega Satan dumbest idea." Uh. Okay, we're we're done with the room, girl. <laughs> Yeah, he, I thought I had another hint. He's he's been talking about that we're done again. He's been talking about uh, that for a while now in Skype. He's like, oh, almost done a thousand and one percent. I was like, man, come on. And then um, he's like, I I hate make a Satan run with a Lilith. It's the dumbest shit. And then I just do this. I get a. I get this kind of run. To be fair, with uh, the dead key, with the angels' uh, room. I did have, um, I did have uh, trouble with Lilith myself, so I'll say that. That's, that's right, you did. So I can't really be mad at him, uh, or or take too much pleasure in his pain. But hey, at the same time, the only reason you were able to get deals with the angel is because I. Did you uh, see that? As soon as I fucking uh, went in, it was just fucking shit. The only reason you were able to get deals with the angel is because I accidentally told you that uh, empty vessel doesn't work the way it actually works. Yeah, that's true. There you go. See, butterfly effect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Totally. Butterfly. Man, this is crazy. I just notice you've been holding lazy worm as your trinket forever. Yeah. What does it do? It slows down your shot speed. Doesn't matter with uh, with uh, epic feet is brimstone, but I was like, you know, our, our range is really bad. How did that happen? Our range is really well, bad. Well, when your shot speed is bad, it makes your range worse. But we have infinite range, Ryan. Yeah, but 
we didn't have infinite range uh, before we got Epic Fetus. Oh, okay. Thanks, son. If it the, hurts my eyes a little bit. <laughs> if the butterfly effect is available to watch on your flight, would you watch it? Uh, mm. Probably not. I I've seen. I've the seen not the first one. You saw the second butterfly effect. I think I've seen the last one. That's even. I don't even like know how. Like the fifth one or something. The like fifth the butterfly effect. What's was it? Did it end at fourth? I don't know. I, I didn't even know they made a third. Honestly, I knew they made I two. Know. Okay, then maybe it's the second one. Oh my god, there's a bomb. How many butterfly effects are there? I, I know for sure they made more than two. You got you alright, buddy? <laughs> Keep getting hit. Uh, the, the second to last time I got hit is because you torched me with your uh, epic fetus. I did not. I was standing still. I did not torch you, man. Oh, it's got Maybe to you torched bounced. yourself. There's three. Yeah, then I've seen the third one. Just the third one. I think so, yeah. You're talking about the butterfly effect. Yeah. Not Final Destination. No. Okay. Final Destination, there are like seven. There, there's at least five, yeah. Butterfly effect. I know I know how like it is. Because, you know, people will be like, Oh, that's a butterfly effect. You know? Let's do it. Yeah. The butterfly effect I had a hard time with, uh, because, oh my god. You were like sending right there. I thought I was moving the crosshair, but what I was moving was myself. Um, I was like 16 when the butterfly effect came out, and I watched it and I thought it was trash. But like everybody in high school was like, so deep. I, like I could go back in time and not get a 75 on the stoichiometry test. Oh. It's so, so dirty. It's so incredible, you know? And I was like, I don't think it's that good. In fact, I think it's kind of bad. I think it's just, um, they, like, there was no movie just like, like that. So it's original. It, it's, uh, fairly original, I'll give you that. So when it's, like, original idea, I think, uh, at least it goes around 70. Mm. Well, like out of 100. not on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? Yeah, it's got like a like a 25 on Rotten Tomatoes. What? The original? Yeah! You learn new things every day. It was incredibly okay. <laughs> I thought it was pretty bad. I mean... I don't know if what I saw was like the director's cut or something, but at the end of the movie he goes back uh, If it's a director's to... cut, it should be better. Right, but I'm not sure if this is the canonical ending is what I'm getting at. Mm. But he um, went into his mom's womb as a fetus and then uh, strangled oh, yeah, himself with his umbilical cord so that he was never born. And I was like, this is the most stupid shit. Yeah, it's... Uh, have you watched any other sequel, though? No, I've not seen any of the second or third Butterfly Effect movies. Alright, let's switch it up. 